this one time I was taking the train into Toronto. So I got out at Union Station. It was busy. It was packed with people. But one guy in particular stood out to me because uh, he was homeless. He was sitting on the sidewalk asking for money. Uh, but the real reason that he stood out to me is because his eyes were pitch black. Not exaggerating at all. There was no whites to this guy's eyes at all. And so I thought... This man must have an interesting backstory. And so uh, I started a conversation with him. I got him a, a Timmy's gift card so he could get some food. And we started to talk actually about faith, about uh, spirituality, about God. And he told me that as a teenager, he had uh, ran away from home and gotten involved with a satanic cult, this hardcore demon worshiping group. And uh, as a result of being a part of that group, he had gotten so many different demonic tattoos he had 666, he had the pentagram, he had demons on his skin. And on top of all of that, he had actually dyed his eyes black, injected ink into his eyes to make them black. And so it was a very off-putting uh, sight to look him in the eyes and just see blackness looking back. But he told me that eventually he had left this cult. He, he, he had left it completely behind and he had given his life over to Jesus. He had become a Christian. And he told me that he hoped one day to earn enough money to remove some of these tattoos from his skin. But he said, it doesn't really matter what's on the outside because Jesus is in my soul. He's, on, he's, in, he's in my inside. And he just taught me something really important that day. That when you are going out and evangelizing, at least when I am, there are people for various reasons that scare you, that intimidate you, that you look on the outside and you think there's no way this person would be receptive to the gospel. And yet here is this guy with jet black eyes covered in satanic tattoos. But on the inside, he's given his life over to Jesus. And so it's a good reminder to me that there is no one that is too broken, too lost, too sinful for Jesus to rescue. And so when we preach the gospel, we need to leave no one out. Extend the mercy of Jesus to everyone because who knows what God is doing on the inside.